about an actual gloomy day? You know what? I think today I'm just going to stay in and just, just write my memoirs or something. I want people to know the story of chaos. How it all began. Alright, where do we begin? It was a dark and stormy night. All was fine. And then he... What the hell was that? Hold on, let me go check. See what that is. Do 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 Maybe somebody's at the door. The fu? What is this? Hold on, let me just sneak past here. And eviction notice. Per fix it, you are hereby ordered to vacate. You have 60 days to comply. Comply? Snut? This is bolt. Welcome home, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, welcome back. I am Drawing Chaos. And a few of you have may have heard the news. Yep, Paradise Springs is said to be destroyed. Thanks, Nut. I know we're not supposed to shoot the messenger, but... Look at this house. Look how beautiful everything looks. I do not want to get rid of it. I love everything about it. This house was designed with so so much in mind. Meticulously placed, everything looking great. Oh, and the view! The view! Oh, I can't say enough about it. So I will be sad to see this place go, but I am interested to see what happens to this area. Will they keep the area, or will they nuke it? But all that aside, let us see what we have done thus far in this build. So, on the previous episode, I have finished the mid-tier base. It's looking fantastic. And then I started working in our community center. Yes, I wanted to make an area that was not only practical, but also fun. So we got the I'm Kibitz Skate Park, in case you want to just, you know, hit some sick 360s or whatever the kids be saying these days. We also have the Let's Game It Out Playground, in case you want a little, uh mayhem in your life or you just want to have some fun with the kids you know a nice day going out whatever we have all the good staples we have the giant tornado uh we have the uh, hyper tubes uh you know little spaghetti in the back and then of course we have a belt weave ball pit so one other thing i do not want to forget is we currently built a second house on the map and this second house over here was meant to be a modern design, in case you didn't like the other one. But now it might be the main design, now that Paradise Springs is set to be brutally destroyed. Behind the shed, whatever that means, you know. So, this is completely empty and might actually need to get filled up pretty soon, but, you know, at least it is well designed, has a beautiful view, and is looking good. But we need to start working on the future, and what I want to build is something amazing. So over in this location, I decided that I wanted to build a, well, a place for lizard doggos. And I wanted to have this tree as the centerpiece. And I had this really cool idea, and instead it just turned into an altar. So praise be the tree of life. <laughs> I, w I really wanted to name this after like a community member like I did with the other ones. So if anybody knows who deserves to be called the Tree of Life, let me know in the comment section. I would appreciate it. But one person that I did want to name after something was definitely our good buddy Frutchy in our Animal Rescue Center. That's right. We rescue animals over here. We don't stick nukes on them. We don't hit them with drawing Cass's posters. And she even has this wonderful thing with all these people that got, you know, you know, with their own little cuddle buddies and everything. It's amazing. But of course, we do have our warning wall, you know. I wanted to say uh, shoot on sight, but I thought that was too much. <laughs> but this is a very practical building because you too can be the proud owner of your very own lizard doggo. Aww. Oh, hey there, little guy. Aww, how's it going? Oh my god, they're so well trained. Look at it. I love the new UI that they got going on over here because now they don't all swarm you from like a thousand feet away. 
Aw, he brought me some berries. And you? Well, you know, garbage is nice, too. But other than that, there are plenty of lizard doggos for you to adopt, you and your friends. And, you know, you can just kind of, you know, skedaddle whenever you want. And, you know, just, it just gives them a place to hang out. But with that being said, it is time to start working on our next project because I still want this to be a community center. And unfortunately, one house in a community center is not good enough. We need more. And I was thinking that this area over here would work perfectly to have some sort of like, maybe like a motel or something. I don't know, but I want to build something. And that's where I got the idea to start building the suburbs. And it came out interesting. I do kind of like it. I really do. And uh, there's different house types over here for any one of your friends. So, like, let's say you download the map and you want to, you know, hang out with your buds. You know, each of you guys can choose a house. You can dress it up however you want. Oh, and some of these houses, they may look familiar. I did not design these myself. I actually got the designs for these off of the Reddit. So as you can see right here, here was one of the designs. I tried to remake it as best I could, but I am pretty sure that they used some mods in this one. Just because if you switch over to some of the other pictures, you can see some interesting inside version of the house. Also, it might look a little bit bigger than the one that I built, but I wanted to keep mine, you know, more small and compact. So this is one of the houses that we have over here, not too bad. And then we have another one over here. And this one I really like because it is a very compact version. It is only four tiles wide. Well, not counting the garage or whatever you want to call this area over here. But for the most part, it is just four tiles. It even has a second floor, which is not too big, and an actual attic. Oh, and a cool thing too over here, you have a balcony where you can actually look off into the distance and ponder your life choices. So that's always fun. And this one was also found on Reddit over here, and I wanted to keep the color scheme in, you know, honor of the person that designed it. And I like this one a lot, just for the simple compact design and how it is set up on the inside. Now, of course, like the other ones, I did not put any of the stuff on the inside because I felt like you guys would want to design the houses to your own personal liking so that each house feels different and unique. But with that being said, we're going to need something for these houses right over there. And yeah, I could build more and more houses, but I'm thinking of something really cool, like uh, like a hub section or something like that. So I'm thinking this is going to tie in very well. So give me a minute and let me see what I can come up with for this. I got a great idea. Welcome back. Good to see you. And guess what? My idea turned into a different idea. And I like this idea so much better. So say hello to the convenience store. For my American friends, it's similar to like a kind of like a 7-Eleven, even has a gas station on the side. And it is, well, I put bulletproof glass, I put all, you know, all the amenities in there. And I gotta say, it is, it is fun. And it's kind of practical too, like let's say you have a house over there and you need some material, instead of traveling all the way over to the mid-tier base or something, at least we'll have some stuff over here. Though you're going to have to have someone come over and fill it, because uh, I can only do so much work, okay? You guys are going to really have to pick up the slack. But I do plan on filling up these containers, well, some of them anyway, and let you worry about the rest. Oh, but I did name it after my good buddy, BL Andrew 575 If you haven't seen his stuff, oh, amazing. But anybody who's seen his stuff knows the reference on his frame rate. <laughs> oh... But the nice thing about this build is it's very unique and cool. Even has a nice little back room. We got a truck for all our, you know, deliveries and whatnot. And it's just, you know, if you worked in retail space, you 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 understand all too well how, well, horrific this kind of is. <laughs> uh, but it did come out very nice. Gives you kind of like a Daisy kind of vibe going on over here. But I do like it. Now we just have to travel all the way over to our mid-tier base over here and bring everything back over there. That shouldn't be too hard, right? 
Well, it's a little harder than it seems, because over here in our mid-tier base, we have a ton of bins. And these things are jam-packed with all the kind of materials that you could ever want. And I was thinking, what better way to bring all that stuff over there than a train? Yes, with the trains that we got going on, or well, the train that we got going on over here, I'm thinking we can actually get it on here, you know, fill it up and whatnot. Though we do have to extend it though, I need a little bit of an extension going on over here. Okay, more of an extension. Actually, to be honest, I'm gonna need more than that. Even more than that. You know what, let's, let's just say I'm gonna need an extra freight car too to make this work. Oh, hey, how's it going? Yeah, I'm just driving around. Yeah, I just, I, I got a few materials, just, just a, just a smidgen, because <laughs> God forbid I take more than one trip. <laughs> the sad part is, this is still going to take me like at least three trips to complete. Turns out one of those bins fills like one and a half of these containers, so, you know, that's always fun. Alright, so we're coming in for a landing, so we're just going to turn around. And then, alright, so now we'll start slowing down, coming over here, and just brake. Just brake. Can't this thing brake any faster? What do you mean? What do you mean this train's not able to brake with one, you know, freight engine and all these freight cars in there? <laughs> There's only like 30 of them. I think this will stop eventually. <laughs> it's a little too much even for me, but less trips is a positive on that, so there's always that. All right, now I just got to bring everything that's on these train cars and bring it over to the shop. I gotta say, not too bad, not too bad. Right, Mr. Bean? Absolutely. Easy. All right, here we go. Was even able to move the hub over here so that it was much easier to get to the community center. And, you know, it's not a bad location for it, although I do need to work on the way that the hub is set up. It's nothing, you know, too special, but it does kind of look pretty cool. And if we come over to the convenience store, you can see that I've actually filled a bunch of the bins. Unfortunately, it was only enough just to fill, you know, this one side with items. Oh, except for this side. This whole side is all filled with concrete because we have a huge sale on concrete, you know, and I want to move product. But if we grab one of these vehicles, we can see one of the other things that I was able to add into the base. And that is a beautiful road working section. Lucky for me, there was a few YouTubers who decided to put up uh, tutorial videos on how to do roads. My favorite thus far was a good friend of mine, DC Juan. If you've never seen him, he does some really cool stuff. And he was even able to adopt the highway. Him and Girl Scout Troop 69420, of course. But ACDC Juan Kenobi decided to take over this road and he has adopted it and he's been cleaning up litter on it. Really nice guy, you know, great, great guy. Oh, speaking of great people in the community, oh wait, no, one more distraction, sorry. So we decided to take Total's name off of the Tunnel of Love because Rumi was, you know, he felt that the Tunnel of Love was more him and how, how could I, you know, take that away from Total? Well, that's because I figured out something that is more up Total's alley. Total Eclipse Astronomy Tower. And with a quick hypertube going all the way up, we are able to see just what kind of astronomy tower we got. Now this will only take a few, few hours, so you know, just stick with me real quick. You know the funny part about this is, you guys have no idea how much of the time was edited out of here just so this wasn't too bad going up to the top. But here we are at the top of the Astronomy Tower, which looks a little bit Dragon Ball Z-ish. <laughs> if anybody gets the reference, but of course it is looking great up here with all the fog and the red force that doesn't blend in or whatnot. You can see my space elevator over there. But it is looking pretty cool. But even better, it's going to look so crispy in the dark, we get to see the whole skyscrape. 
Or right, look at that, man. It is looking... Well, it would look beautiful if it wasn't cloudy as... Uh, but, you know, unfortunately, we don't have any in-game stuff to change the weather. We're not weather wizards over here. But even with the clouds, it does look really cool up here, I gotta say. And it's a pretty nice, you know, place to come up and just, you know, look around and, you know, view everything. And if you want to come back down, it is much easier. Didn't have to edit this one bit because... da 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 Oh! Ah! Straight to the brain. Yep, uh, easy way down. But I gotta say, that is gonna be it for me today. We have made huge strides in the community center. If you have any ideas on what else to do, any other community members you want me to add, like It's Bits, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. But other than that, bye, buddy!